everyone and welcome to another episode of the Neesman Team Tours with me, Jerry Neesman of the Neesman Team at Keller Williams Realty. Be sure to click subscribe to stay on top of all things Southwest Florida. And if you're interested in buying, selling, or investing in real estate, feel free to reach out to me. My contact info is in the description below. And don't forget to ring that bell if you want to be notified when the next video drops. Hey everyone, we're here today to talk about South Gulf Cove. South Gulf Cove is a beautiful master planned boating community here in Southwest Florida. It is in Western Port Charlotte and therefore the Western part of Charlotte County. One of the best kept secrets here in Southwest Florida for boaters. The reason I say that is because it is one of the most affordable and quickest access to open water areas here in Southwest Florida for the price. It was designed, like I said, master plan community back in the late 70s. The canals were dug and all of that dirt was then put onto the lots to fill it, raise it, to make it dry and buildable. And it's a big residential development. It is deed restricted, so there are some rules and regulations in terms of home building and maintaining your home and things like that to make it continue, keep it looking nice. And as you can see, driving through the neighborhood here, beautiful homes. They, again, it was a, it's designed as a boating community. So there are tons of Gulf access waterfront canal lots. Uh, there are also dry lots in between, and a part of the voluntary HOA, should you choose to be a member, is access to the private South Gulf Cove boat ramp. The HOA fee, if you choose to be a member, like I said, it is voluntary, so you don't have to pay the fee if you live in there. You can opt to pay the fee, which gives you access to the boat ramp and the private South Gulf Cove Community Center. There's a clubhouse, private community park where the boat ramp is and all of that. But those fees are only $120 a year. So fantastic, super low HOA fee if you choose to be a member. If you choose not to, that's perfectly fine as well. You don't have to. For boaters, they also have the South Gulf Cove Yacht Club, uh, which you can join and be a member of as well. That's only $40 a year if you wanna join that. So, tons of amenities, great social life if you choose to participate in it. Uh, they have all kinds of activities that they host at the clubhouse, outings, the Yacht Club has their own uh, social activities and things like that that they host as well. Fantastic group of people. And it is extremely quick to get out to open water. The uh, South Gulf Cove is behind a lock. So once through the lock, you come right out into the mouth of the Mayaka River, right where it dumps into Charlotte Harbor. And then Charlotte Harbor is huge, open water, plenty of opportunity, and then easy access out into the Gulf. One of the benefits of having this area behind the lock is it helps to maintain the water levels in the canals. So you never run into issues like some of the other areas where when the tide goes out, the water levels in the canal drop drastically and larger boats are not able to get in and out. Here you don't have any of those problems. Um, there are some bridges depending on where you're at, but there's also plenty of homes that are sailboat access where you have no bridges to deal with, so you can have pretty much whatever size boat you want. And still affordable for those lots as well compared to many of the other areas that are sailboat access in Southwest Florida. So really a fantastic, great bang for your buck in this area. Here's a picture of the lock right here. some of the parks. This will show you the uh, the private community park where the boat ramp and everything is. Tons of activities, 
They've got the lake. They've got a great picnic area, restrooms, playground, basketball court. And this is all kept up and maintained by the South Gulf Cove Homeowners Association. There are multiple other parks throughout the community. They are public parks. You've got the linear park that runs along the uh, Interceptor Lagoon and Canal that runs around the outside edge of South Gulf Cove and is the, the primary route to get to that lock. And most of what is along the Interceptor is all protected wildlife preserves. So it's designed and was planned in the development to be protected and maintained so that you don't have to maintain water quality and things like that. We're coming up here to that St. Paul Linear Park, which is the park right along the Interceptor Lagoon. You can take a look at that area as well. And again, multiple parks all throughout South Gulf Cove, just scattered throughout for community enjoyment. And great location, tons of development in the area. There's plenty of vacant lots to purchase and build your dream home, as well as lots of commercial development coming in this area as more and more homes are built. There's a big master plan community being developed not too far away that is gonna add a ton of homes to the area and allow for more commercial growth. But uh, you're right around the corner from Inglewood, very close to Inglewood Beach. So not just boating, but beaches, shelling, all the activities you could possibly want. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell if you want some notifications and hit us up if you got any questions.